What's going on everybody and happy new year. Yes, when you watch this video, it's going to be New Year's Eve. So I hope next year 2024 is the best one for everybody. I hope everybody had a great 2023. Um, you know, if you had ups and downs, let's hope and uh, work together to make 2024 the best year yet. Today we're going to be talking about the best beard companies that I've used in 2023. I work for Beard Octane, obviously, just to be, you know, transparent to you guys, I'm thankful and honored to be working for my favorite beard company of all time, which is Beard Octane. But, you know, that's not the only beard products that I use year round. You know, I still support other beard companies and I buy their products. What I love about this, y'all, is the fact that one, since I don't review beard products on a daily basis anymore, I guess you can say I'm retired or part time or as needed. Um, I get to try out beard products longer than I typically would. Now, typically I would try them for seven days and then I'd, I'd say if they're shark approved or not shark approved and then move on to the next. Now, what again, in 2023, I was really, really able to work a little bit extra with these products because I don't have to worry about trying them out for seven days and then moving on to the next uh, beard company. I would use them as long as I want. So, um, that's and, I, and that's one thing that I learned too in 2023 is that I feel like seven days is not enough for you to determine if a beard product is good for your skin. And what I mean by that is, yeah, I can tell you guys after day one that a beard product is going to be great for my beard. It's going to make my beard feel great. But for my skin, I've noticed that it takes a little bit longer than seven days to see how it's going to react to it. There's some products that... And I'm not going to mention any names. And if you, even if you message me, I, I won't mention any get names because I have respect for the uh, owners. But there's some products that I raved about previously in the past. And, you know, they were great for my beard. But when I noticed that I wear them a long period of times that my face, my skin underneath breaks out. So no bueno, unfortunately. I can't use those anymore. I mean, I can probably use them sporadically. Um, but it's not something I can use like for more than seven to 10 days because they start breaking me out. That being said, 2023, I wore a lot of different beard styles and that's something about me, you guys. Look, you're not going to get the same beard style year round with me. I'm going to change it up. Like right now I'm doing a beard stash and then I'll grow something else out. You know, that's just me. I've always been that way. I'm not going to grow a long beard and keep that, keep it that way. I'm not going to just keep a short stubble beard. I like to try different things out. In 2023, what I found out is, you know, different beard lengths of mine. Uh, I picked the products that work the best for me, for my beard and my skin throughout my beard journey. So this is something that I recommend that if your beard is longer, shorter like mine, if you're starting a new beard, um, if you are a veteran beard grower, these products right here, I feel like they are universal. They can work for different beard types and sizes. I'm gonna be just talking about the beard oils and beard butters and they're the same company. Um, listen, if you know, you know, and I know what works for me and what doesn't work for me. So for my cleaning uh, supplies, the only thing I use is Beard Octane. That's it. Like I have, you know, I wash my beard with the LCW or the new solid wash bar. So that's what I've been on a kick uh, uh, lately is the new solid wash bars, which are the same thing as the LCW, but it's dehydrated into a little puck. So they're easier to travel with and take to the gym and all that. So this is the barbershop scent, but they come in different scents. So you guys can check them out. But I only use Beard Octane for my uh beard washing and all that in the shower so the only thing i have in there is beard octane so i use a solid wash bar um and then once a week i'll take like um you know the handcrafted soap bar right here and i will you know deep clean my beard but this is for your body too as well so you don't have to just use it for your beard and then when my beard is long enough and i need you know a conditioner beard octane's conditioner so let's get that out of the way beard octane is the only shower products that I use because I feel like those are the best. You know, they're, I'm not saying other companies don't have good uh, beard products for your shower care, but I, that's what works for me. And that's, you know, that's what I'm sticking with for my shower products. Number one, honorable mention, it's going to be Beard Meds. Beard Meds is a um, beard oil company by the popular YouTuber, 
beard product reviewer beard tube and i'm giving this an honorable honorable mention because i don't wear super thick oils often but this is probably the thickest oil that would work in my beard if it's super thick it just sits there and it becomes greasy and i feel like it clogs up my pores so i quit using thick beard oils but when i do need a thicker oil um, I found that Beard Meds does the trick and I enjoy it. So if you guys like thick oils, you live in a region that you feel like you need a thicker oil, Beard Meds, check it out. Next is going to be uh, medium thickness when it comes to the viscosity. It's going to be Fable Beard Company. And the scents that I'm showing you guys as well are my favorite scents from the companies, by the way. Um, the Hero, man. I've been through three bottles. I, I can't say anything negative about the Hero. Um, I feel like... When it comes to Fable Beard Company, the scent that I always go to is the Hero. He's got some great scents and the characters are amazing, but the Hero is my number one favorite scent from Fable Beard Company. So if you guys haven't tried the Hero, 100% check it out. Next is gonna be the mad scientist himself, and that is the Luxurious Bastard. Luxurious Bastard has different, different variety of masculine, strong, twisted, complex scents. Um, this is also on the medium viscosity when it comes to the oil thickness. This one just happens to be my favorite oil from him. It's called the Red Bastard. It's kind of like a take of the Polo Red, um, the cologne. So if you guys like that kind of vibe, you know, make sure that you check out the Red Bastard. But again, he has amazing, great, different, complex scents. And I look, the Woodsman Bastard, or the Woody, I forgot it's called the Woodsman Bastard or the Woody Bastard. That's really good too. The Classy Bastard is really good. But I always find myself grabbing for the Red Bastard. And you guys know that I'm going to have to mention my number one scent from Beard Octane this year. Listen, this one was a tough one because I go back and forth, back and forth. But... When I first smelt this scent, I knew that it had a key to my heart and I just love different variety of colognes on me. So whenever I smelt Victory, I just couldn't keep my hands off it. It first came out on the solid cologne line and then it came out in um, the beard oil, beard butter, beard wash and all that. And I got the entire lineup. I love Victory, you guys. It's a sweet cologne, but... It's not too sweet. It's got that yuzu in there. You really, really smell it. And it's, I'm telling you, it's a head churner. So if you guys have not tried Victory from Beard Octane, get your hands on it. All right. Next is going to be a company that I'm super proud of. I've seen them just improve year by year. And the um, owners just always working hard. Um, I look, I, if you're talking about great beard companies, great beard products, you cannot leave Iowa Beard Company out of your lineup. This is a great oil, great company. Um, it's also on the, I want to, it's almost flirting with the medium, but it's not. It's like light weight, but mm, just a dab of mediumness. Um, this is a really great company. The oil absorbs quickly. Check out Iowa Beard Company. Um, he's got different scents. He's always doing like seasonal scents as well. So make, see, I'm sure you'll find something you enjoy, but if you have not tried Iowa Beard Company, 100% recommend for you guys to get this and put it in your rotation. Next one up, the next company that I use this year the most is gonna be Define Beard Company. And just an FYI, if you guys don't know, I have a collab with Define Beard Company. I love the owner, Carrie is amazing, his wife is amazing. Um, Deep Blue, hands down, look, I may be biased, but this is the best blueberry oud scent on the market. Um, this is also a medium thick oil. Um, it's great. I love it. Even though it's medium thickness in my beard, it kind of works like a lightweight oil. What I mean, what I mean by that is that it absorbs quickly enough for me. So the fine beard company, he's got great oils. He's got, um, different products, different scents. The only lavender scent that's on the market right now that I can wear prolonged times and not worry about getting a headache. That's King Bounty. So if you guys like lavender, check that out as well. Last but not least, this is probably, I'm just going to be transparent with you guys. This is probably my second most used company in the year of 2023. And that's because it works well for me. And this is um, Weatherbeard Supply Company. Um, this is Midnight Cruise, which is a collaboration with Healthy Bearded on YouTube. But I got different scents from them. I love this oil too. 
Um, it smells good, but it also absorbs very quickly in my beard. When it comes to this beard oil and beard butter, they just, my beard loves them, you know, they really do. So they absorb in my beard well. I have great styling days uh, when I'm using uh, Weather Beard Supply. Uh, great company, great products. Check out his website as well. We want to talk about the beard butters because I know you guys are going to message me and be like, hey, I'm looking for a lightweight butter. I'm looking for a, a medium thick butter. I'm going to go over the butters real quick with you guys. So when I'm having a bad beard day and I need that extra stuff, and I, don't, I hardly ever use balm. I do use, if my beard was like long, I would use balm. But when I'm having a bad beard day, I reach for Fable Beard Company because the beard butter kind of looks like it works like a bomb for me. So I keep this as a I don't wear it at night because it's too heavy for me, but I'll wear it during the day um, if I need like a little bit extra, you know, help with styling my beard. Weather Beard Supply, their beard butter is a lightweight butter. So this is gonna be something that you can wear during the night for nighttime use. Um, this is gonna be something that if you don't need help with um, taming your beard. Hey, you can put it in your beard during the day, but it's nice and conditioning. Um, it's really absorbing for me. It leaves my skin on my, cause I, you know, if I wear beard butter on my beard, I'm going to put it on my arms and all that as well. So it doesn't make my beard feel any kind of greasiness. Neither does my skin. Of course, can't leave beard octanes, beard butter in, uh, out of the picture. This is going to be one of those light white beard butters as well fast absorbing non-greasy again if i'm wearing the beard butter i'm going to put it in my beard and i'm going to put it on my like you know ashy elbows if i have it uh here recently that my skin has been um itching like my my stomach area because i guess from the weather so i've been putting like the beard butter on my stomach and like just you know on my body to help keep it conditioned and moisturized after the shower and it's done the trick so um i love me a lightweight butter and so of course beard octane is always going to do the trick duh last but not least this one is going to be the defined beard company's beard butter this one is also like a medium weight beard butter what i mean by that is um, I don't typically reach for this during the uh, nighttime because it is like a medium thick, like heavyweight butter. So it's going to keep my beard. It absorbs, but it takes a little bit longer than the lightweight butters to absorb. So I reach this for, I reach for this during the day. Um, so if I need, I don't really need that much help with, uh, you know, styling purposes, but I just want to wear their butter. I'm gonna reach for this and I know it's gonna take care of my beard. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is based on my beard, my skin, my experience. So uh, I can't promise you that this is gonna work for you, but I do put my stamp of approval on these companies because they've done their justice. They've done their part for me during uh, 2023. And I've, I've tried other companies too during 2023. So I'm not saying that they're bad, uh, obviously they're not. Um, but these are the go-to products of 2023. These are the ones that I find myself reaching for the most. And I wanted to share that with you guys. So I don't have many discount codes, but if I do have an active discount code, just make sure that you click the link in the description that says discounts, and then it'll populate and tell you what is um, available and what's not available. Uh, if I don't have a discount code, I will you know, try to find one for you guys. If you guys have any questions about scents or products from any of these companies, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, Official Bearded Shark, and I'll help you the best I can. But until next time, guys, seriously, I hope 2024 is the best year yet for me and for y'all. Happy New Year, y'all, and stay bearded, duh.